Hi folks, um, right, back to watercolours, you'll be pleased to know. Uh, right, I'll, this is this 90 pound hot pressed Saunders Waterford. Doing another sort of uh, East Anglia, Norfolk type of paintings. Just a sort of improvised painting. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, I want a, just a very sort of faint blush of of sienna. Okay, leave that to soak a bit. Uh, right, okay, just let that expand a bit while I drink the Bob Rill. Now the weather's today, it's just clear, we've had a lot of rain, but it's clearing now and we're getting blue skies, lots of cloud, lovely cloud. So I'm going to just use that as my my entree and stretch it a little bit, Get it nice and flat. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, I'll uh, put in a bit of a uh, bit of ultramarine, and I'm going to put a touch of alizarin with it. There we are, I'll just sell a bit low down. Okay, that'll do it. Now we'll get a bit of a alizarin and Payne's grey. Very, very light sky. Put a bit of in where I'm going to put the water, a bit of blue in there. Okay, I'll give that a try. Oh, I'll just go in a little bit deeper with some of that uh, grey because it, it, this dry is much lighter than it goes on, about, it's about 50%, I would say. Strengthen up the blue a bit, I think. Okay. Listening to the radio, the talk radio, uh, but on headphones, obviously. Um, I just got Lord Geoffrey Archer on, and he's talking about the Clifton Chronicles. Well, we read these books um, last year. They're lovely, super books. Uh, I've not read them. I've got them with a the library in the UK. Really, really good, good tale. Right. Okay. Enough of that.
it takes some drying when um, the paper, although it's uh, hot pressed paper, it still absorbs quite a lot of uh, moisture. It's very good and uh, it feels a bit smooth to start with, but once you've wetted it, and I only bought this by mistake, I should have got the, um, the rough or the ordinary uh, cold press, which would probably be, be fine. Um, it does pick up a bit of a bit of a tooth. I can see the grain on it now. It's not so smooth as it was. So, if you've got some of this paper, have a go. It's really lovely. Right now, with my little medium hake, I'll put in a bit of background, like an East Anglia background. I'm imagining that this is uh, a uh, a Norfolk type of view. Right, now we get some uh, get some nice light light green. Just warm that up a bit with a bit of sienna. Okay, let's let that go. <coughs> um, I'll dry it, so take your headphones off again. Okay, a little dry brush on, on this area as we went. It's a little bit, a bit of a lump there, but so generally it's, it's uh, pretty flat. I'm going to start breaking in another one of these medium hakes. I've had it sitting here for about a year. Uh, bear with me. Uh, there it is. Oh, nice new one. Still got the glue in the. Uh, In the bristle, so I just soften it, get that nice and get the adhesive out of it. Right, okay, so now on, on that, I'm going to put on that background, put some greeny blue trees. Horizon, it must be where the horizon is. It's lovely. If you if you're struggling with your hake, and I know some of you are, from my comments. But it's be largely because you're using too heavy a brush stroke. I'm just gently feather-like touching the paper. Hardly any pressure at all on the on the brush. It's had a bit of variety in these. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, that is so so light. Just a bit of blue, a bit of yellow, but on the blue side. I've got a little uh, wind pump, water pump. on the uh, horizon everything you can't see it's just very lightly just sketched out in pencil uh, we'll just go back with that blue and just come across here just give a bit of a, a, a distance with these trees A bit more blue, maybe here and there, just to give it a bit of a. Okay, that'll do. We've got to put a bit of a, a bit of blue and a bit of sienna, but a burnt sienna, oh, just a touch. Just to get a bit of bit of hardness along that that edge. Just a bit of dark bushes. Now I've, I've, I've tried and model some uh, banks now. So I'll add a bit of blue and a bit of bit of paint grey. And a bit of bit of yellow. I will So you've got these banks coming up and Touch of uh, just Okay, but it's all about it's all about this uh, feather feather light touch. Push these uh, reeds up. Oh, Let's have a bit more green in there now. Yellow and blue. Pull out the loose hairs. I'm going to do some detail in a minute. Nice bit of dark green paints, quite a bit of bed paints. Mm. 
And I'll have a bit of a push on that other side, on the, on the right hand side. Okay, then we've got to put some bigger trees in there, but I want to do some detailing in the background now. <coughs> so I'm going, to use, I'm going to use my three quarter brush, I think. My graduate brush. Oh, I haven't put my bottle yet. Yeah. Maybe uh, I'll use my little quarter inch brush. This is uh, the, the, wind, the windmills or the wind pubs here. I'm going to just. Now the light's coming from there, so we'll. Uh, bit of a bit of umber on that side. Just encourage that to go over there by just wetting that side. Okay, now I'll uh, well, usually, usually the the uh, the, 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 the turret here, turret here, the, with the, the contains the working parts, and it follows the wind. Um, I'll do that with a sort of a light blue, I think. Um, Okay, that'll do. Well, that's right, I'll put a door or window in it. Uh, it's, a more, it's a bit more blue in uh, brown in there. Show the shadow. Right, I've got to put the sails and stuff on. Now, I want to a burnt umber, and I'm just going to try it. It's a light red. Roof. I uh, can't see it. I drew it out here somewhere. All right, a bit of paint's grey now. Okay, now I, I love the black. Roland Hilda was a great one for using black. Oh, paint spray, I'm using paint spray. Okay, uh, we've got to put more trees, some larger trees in here and there. Uh, right, I took a bit of tissue. I want to take a little bit of that blue turret out. Here, just sort of lighten a little bit of that, and just get a little bit more. Oh, it's with my head in the way. And So carefully try to put in the uh, sails. Okay. Oh, 
Right, now that um, charu just needs to be more rounded. I think I've kind of done that bit. Yeah, I think I've, I've got the shape of that a bit wrong there. I'll, I'll try and alter that a bit. Uh, a bit later when it's, when it's dried off. Let's just put a bit of a doorway in. Just, I'll, I'll just take a little bit of that out, just, just on that top, it looks a bit like a, um, a minaret a turret, well not a minaret, but a, sort of a, a Russian Orthodox church a dome at the moment. we will change that, right, let's put a bit of a harder tree in now. So we'll have, we'll have green, we'll have dark green. Too much water on the brush. Have to watch out for that. Oh, a little bit of a bit of a bit of a reflection there. Okay, let's uh, do some of this here. Okay, uh, same over the other side, you've got to balance it all up.
for a bit of a shadowing there. There's a bit of bit here. Amazing what you can do with a large, sort of clumsy brush, isn't it? Okay, well, uh, I want to do, um, same a bit more on the other side. Okay, I don't think there's much more I'm going to do with this one. Just put in some, uh, just some... Okay, I might have overdone that a little bit there. Some dry brush. No, I'm going to leave that. I think that's quite quite reasonable. We'll put a few birds in. I'll put it in the mount and we'll have a we'll have a look at it. Put it in water. of uh Right that was your sign it. I could put you can poke and put these things to death of course. So reasonably clear. I was going to do something with that up there, wasn't I? So let's get a stiff brush. Yeah. Good. Okay. I'm my table here. But she had all over my fingers. Hold on. While we clean ourselves up. Let's just take some of that down there.
not quite coming out. Well, I think I'll put a little bit of gouache on that because it would be, they're usually painted white. Well, that's not white, but it's just yellow gouache. over now. A bit better, but I'll let that go. Uh, look, something off my table. Right, okay. Well, I hope you like that, folks. I'll get that uploaded. I'll just wind you up a little bit. Right, okay. Here we are. Thanks for looking in guys, I'll uh, get that uploaded now and uh, see you later, bye bye.